game of the pod on Tuesday to Minnesota Duluth, but since then, they've won their last two, scoring 12 goals, and this one's underway. The Mavericks, they are the road team. They're back on the road bench where they were when they beat Western Michigan the other night. Now out at center, it's Miller with Primo. Meyer got a stick, they score! Miller ripped it for a pipe and it went in! And Omaha draws first blood, they lead the hockey game, one nothing. We play on, <laughs> off the draw, here we go. Miller couldn't handle it, Mittenden, this kid is dangerous! And he scores, right on cue! Mittenden with a snipe and we're tied, 1-1. One, one. Absolute laser off a face-off win, a secondary win. Look at the individual effort. And there's the shot, use the defense as a little bit of a screen. He looked one way, went the other way, beat it with a, just a laser beam that might, might have deflected off Proctor. Bremer covering the point for Proctor. Down the half wall, he goes to Weiss, gets it back, fired a drive, and he scored! Snapped it in, glove side, pass Caster, and it's 2-1 Omaha with 11.07 remaining in the opening period. And Cronulla right in front, turning, and they score! Brodzinski found it, and he sticks it through the pads of Seville. After he hit the goal post, he ties the game with 11 minutes to go in the period, 2-2. Here's are into it. I mean, the, you can hear how vocal they've been. Yeah, Mitten with a chance, they score! Cronulla cleans it up, driving down the slot, and the Finns team up. And the Huskies exactly halfway through the period and this hockey game have a 3-2 lead on the goal by Yami Kronola. Ben, it's the same play they just scored on from the other side. Dead angle, put it off the pads, go to the front of the net. I mean, folks, this is good, smart, simple hockey by St. Cloud. They manufactured two goals out of absolutely nothing. Draft pick of the Minnesota Wild is Hentges. Scanlon sends it in deep. Abate down there, throw it into the paint. Castor has no stick, and it's a goal! They're pointing goal. The call was goal. Conley was sniffing through the trash in there. He may have very well got it. We are five on five here, folks. Not a power play. Mittenden with a shot down. Oh, they score! They score as Mittenden snapped it. And the Huskies just stayed on them and stayed on them. And with 1.15 to go in the period, St. Cloud State's back on top, 4-3 here. To his partner there, Tyconic. Now Kupka plays it off. Here comes Cockrell, good play by Tyconic. They score! Cockrell, what effort from Jared Cockrell. Poked it in with 5.01 to go, and it's a two-goal lead now at 5-3 for St. Cloud State. The pass right here is tremendous, just great vision. This is where the play breaks down. I thought he should have shot right there, and then the kind of blocks it, but Cockrell just kept going and going and going. Watch him. Here's where he should have shot the puck, because he was open. Instead, he tried to force the pass. Didn't work, comes to the front of the net, and he pull cues it right by Seville. When you're good, you're lucky. When you're lucky, you're good. And when you work hard, you generally are both. I would, wouldn't you? Now he's got his hand turned over, so he's not going to. Yeah, that's true. Huskies have it. Donahue will just float it out. Knocked down there by Bremer. But that's going to... That was a high stick. Yep. Bremer stick up too high. So one more draw with 2.2 remaining. Slip to 2 and Hammer's 2. going to shoot. Watch. Look where his stick is. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer time. They tried. That's it. The hockey game comes to an end as Caster and gets the, the win. And who's the first guy off the bench? Brennan. Congratulate him. As the two battle for minutes, that's awesome to watch. St. Cloud State is now 9-0 all-time in this building. They may not want to go home anytime soon. <laughs>